Hello and welcome in the Lord's blessings. Um, this one is Walmart, the good and the bad. The ugly is the next video. Um, to all Walmarts and communities that allow parking in Walmarts or in parking lots in general, thank you. Thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. Um, I don't necessarily like parking near houses, so it's just nice to go to a place and be like, okay, and I should be safe. And so far, um, the only problems I've had is with locals, with cops and security guards. Um, I have never had an issue with another person who's parking. And I know one, it was a really scary place. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know about this. And it was like, I couldn't get to another one. And I was tired and I'm like, oi, like, <laughs> it is what it is. So, um, but nothing bad happened nothing happened at all except for I got some sleep and was able to wake up in the morning and get gone um yeah the bad is um really it's it's not the people who are sleeping there I have I mean people like and I've seen the most interesting things like I've seen like this one place we had every person you could imagine like from the fanciest massive RV to like all these contraptions in between an RV and a car like I've even seen like a like one of those things you put on the back of a pickup truck but they obviously had issues with their knees so they had it like on a trailer <laughs> it was hilarious and um yeah people in cars and there was at that one there was actually a guy um in like a Mercedes-Benz and um he actually slept on the asphalt with two um Rottweilers that was the first time I've seen someone sleep outside of the vehicle <laughs> And with a couple guard dogs to boot, it was, um, it was interesting, but it was quiet and everyone was just peaceful towards each other. And I really appreciate the old school people because they don't do generators. The last year or two, um, people come in and do generators, which is just like, if you can't hack it, like, could you at least go to a campground or, and I've heard that some even, um, hotels, like, they charge you a minimal fee just to plug in but you know you don't have to have a room or anything you get to stay in your own thing just just so you can have power but yeah um but I do know a lady her friend owns a campground and she'll actually call and fall through forts about people in cars and RVs which is really uncouth um security guards I really see them like in California and um Oklahoma and like New Mexico and most in most of New Mexico is okay but there are especially Albuquerque um it's not and it's they're just creepy because they're going around in that little car with the blinking lights like really slowly and um and it's a piss off I've had them wake me up on numerous occasions and it's really a piss off when it's like you saw me come in there's no sign saying not to park here like you know could you at least, like, if this is an issue, let me know right from the get-go. Don't, like, wake me up at midnight so I can. And the one place was like, you have to move. I'm like, I've been coming to this Walmart for years. Like, I shop here at least once a month. Um, I'm not leaving because I'm going to shop in the morning. And then he finally was like, well, you can't just park here. You have to park over there. And he had me move, like, 400 feet. I'm just like can I come to your house while you're sleeping and have you do something frivolous like I'm in one parking spot because like some people park you know just idiotic and they won't park normal so they take up multiple spots and you know I'm in a vehicle I'm not in like a fifth wheel or an RV that's taking up multiple spots I'm not like you know some people are like towing stuff and a lot of people take up like a ton of spots and it's just like you know I'm I'm not but, um, but yeah, so I really haven't had any, any bad experience with actual people using the lots. I haven't seen any destruction. I haven't seen any fights. I haven't seen really anything bad or questionable. I mean, the most thing I've ever seen is some guy got out of his car and quite openly just took a, like, whiz. And it's just like, like, you couldn't, like, stay, like, on that side of your car. And, um, that said... I can't tell you how many men I see, like, whether they're in parks or at the ocean, like, they just, like, start pissing, like, and they have houses, 
you know, it's very obvious that you're not living in their vehicle. Like, they just, and there can be, like, a bathroom. Like, there's a bathroom right there, dude. <laughs> and they're, like, men just, I don't know. And I've had friends where it's, like, why I pee in a bathroom when I can pee outside? And it's just, like, how can you argue with that logic? <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, that's, like, really a man thing and not a homeless thing. And, um, yeah. So, to everyone who allows it, thank you. And for all the Walmarts who are in towns, because towns are getting really pissy. They're doing more and more ordinances against them. <laughs> There's one place in OC, and, like, on every single pole, it's no parking. Like, absolutely no parking. Like, on, there's a sign on every pole. It's just, like, wow. So, I'm not supposed to be in your neighborhoods. I'm not supposed to be by a school. I'm not supposed to be by a church. And I can't even be tucked away in this parking lot. And it's a pistol because... The great majority of areas in America, um, the parking lots aren't used for like half of the day. And even when they are being used, they're not being used to capacity. It's a very rare, there's only a couple times a year, a couple times a year that they're really being used to capacity. It'd be really nice if there was some balance on this because, um, waking people up really isn't appropriate. And, um, there's other ways to deal with it. Um, you can put a note under the windshield of like, hey, we don't do this or please limit this or do, you know, X amount of days, please, um, you know, be in contact with us. Um, please only park in these specific spots. Um, yeah, there's just too much violence and my worst experience, uh, maybe I can do it in this one, this video, um, was Oklahoma City by far. It was horrendous. The level of violence was just asinine. I had, um, come, I was going from point A to point B. I had to go through Oklahoma. I hadn't been there like in 16 years. Um, and, um, I pulled into a Walmart and, um, there was no signs. There was like probably six other people already parked. Um, there was this kook riding around in this crappy car with these old like sirens on top with Cali plates. I'm like, what the hell? Is he missing Big Brother? Like California's really um militant. It's like so creepy. Like the amount of surveillance and the amount of um between guards and just um government um organizations it's just amazing how militant and it's California is <laughs> it's a very beautiful place but the mentality makes it um ugh, it's just not very American <laughs> which is really sad because it really is a beautiful place but um so I went and I was there for about a half an hour I was listening to a meditation by some YouTube guy um from Australia letting go before sleep like drifting off to sleep and all of a sudden I got lit up and I've been told don't respond like you seriously need a chick needs to stop re re responding so I'm just like Ugh, not dealing with this and um next thing I knew there was two taps on my window which was proceed like um followed by um pounding so hard I thought they were gonna break my window open I was like oh my gosh and and mind you they haven't said who they are which is really inappropriate and um, before I could even get to the front, they started shaking my car. And they shook it so violently. I was in extreme pain for 10 hours. Like, can't take a breath without cringing. Um, it was finally 12 hours be before it subsided. But they messed my back up so bad because they were so extremely violent. And as they're creating this 10-point earthquake in my car, still not saying who they are, I got to um the front of the car open up the window I'm like what the hell is going on do we need to call the cops and with that um the one guy like sort of changed his stance and I, I caught a glimpse of his badge I'm like oh, you are the cops oh my gosh and um two things cops one you actually three one you need to um identify who you are ASAP because why the hell would I engage with some kook when I don't know who you are? And you're not the only people in the world that have, like, lights and sirens. I mean, hell, I had a friend in high school who created his own siren. And it sounded just like the cops. I'm like, dude. He's like, I'm not going to do anything bad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you're not the only people out there. And, um, 
why would I engage with you if you're like being secretive? And lying is completely inappropriate and um, violence is really inappropriate, especially when there's no provocation. So yeah, this cop is all like, ooh, we thought you were having a medical emergency. I'm like, <laughs> didn't call 911 and I'm not out on the ground out of my car. I'm, no, I'm fine officer, thanks. And um, which then he quickly followed with, well, we thought you were having sex. You know, a lot of people come to Walmart to have sex. <laughs> And I was just like, ew. <laughs> People come to Walmart, to, I mean, to have sex? Like, I've slept in a lot of Walmarts. I, I've never seen or heard anyone having sex at a Walmart. <laughs> Campgrounds, yes. Walmart, no. <laughs> but it's just like, um, no. And when you rolled up on me, officer, you could see my car was silent. And still, just me going to sleep, meditating. And then he just, like, started attacking me, like, you're, you know, like, you know, how weird I was, and it was one thing after another, and, um, then he stopped talking to me, <laughs> and then, um, him and the other cop and the security guard, who, um, then, when the cops came, he went into, they did have a security card that was marked, but when I got there, he was in this unmarked, old, crappy car with Cali plates, like, why, because the cop's like, why didn't you approach the security guard, it's like, there was a coupe driving around, but there was no, like, what the hell? But, yeah, they were really rude. They stayed at the back of my car for, like, a solid half an hour talking really loud. And I'm just, like, bite me. And I wasn't going to move because, you know, it was on record that they had talked to me. And there was, like, just no way in hell I'm going to move and go through that shit again. So, um, yeah, I called a friend, called a fur line, cried a little bit. They kept talking away really loud, and I just fell asleep and left in the morning and then, didn't buy anything because a lot of people will shop at one point or another they go in and buy stuff um and seriously if I'm not supposed to be in neighborhoods or anywhere else why can't I be in the back of a parking lot um but that was they were really violent so to everyone who does allow it thank you so much it is so appreciated it truly thank you um to those of communities who don't I would really challenge you to um, think it over. I mean, you are physically, you physically hurt me. You physically attacked me all because I was asleep. That's crazy. And there are places that actually threaten you with jail time for being asleep in your car. That's crazy. Um, I'm not coming in your house. I'm not asking you for money. I'm not on your property. I, like... <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not, you know, being a perfect little zombie, but that's just not who I am. And um, violence is not the answer. Um, it's just not. And I really hope you would think through of these, what you're encouraging um, cities and cops to behave towards a certain community who are citizens, who are minding their own businesses. Like, it's really wrong to be attacking us. And I mean, I was in excessive pain for a solid 10 hours and it was 12 hours before before I was finally out of it I don't mean you no harm I'm doing you no harm so don't do me harm lord have mercy